everyone, welcome back to Weasel Mark Sports. Um, we're going to be doing something new. I've decided that I'll be starting on my next trophy truck. And I'm going to walk you along side by side with me, building it step by step. Um, mostly step by step. I'll get as close as I can. Kind of just take you along from the start to finish what I do, how I build these trucks, let you in on some things, um, and, you know, just figured, why not? Because, well, I've, I mostly post on Instagram, that's like where I keep you guys updated, but I've been getting some DMs and all that about YouTube. I've gotten enough to the point where I need to start doing more videos, so I figured, well, here's a good way to start out from. So, nothing much has changed, really. We started on Mini Decade, which is a Class 1400 rig. Um, I actually have frame rolls in that truck. I'll show you that in a second. Also have my personal truck that we gotta do some work on. Plus, um, my next personal rig, which I started, and then we're working on Pushrod 3D's cage also. So stay tuned for that. Here is my personal truck. This was one of my first cage vehicles, so it's kind of a learning curve. Um, hasn't really changed much. Added in the last part of the cage. Welded up some tabs, both sides, so I can mount my sweet, um, I my, <laughs> just blanked out my, uh, class boards um put the panels on these are just tent panels um they're just zip-tied on i got all my body tab screws now i'm just waiting on making either tabs or nuts not sure what i want to do yet um let's see what else we need i put in the rear tail lights and all that we need to also extend these wires so they can reach to the controller, which is sitting right down there. Um, this is all the dirt. Let's see what else do we need. Oh yeah, also we need to switch out the spring rating because I got my new upper set up. So this is the dual spring rate that I've been wanting to run. We'll see how it works and then how it performs. Um, had the three Johnnies on just so I can make my rear ones last a little bit longer in the front. I didn't really care about since it's on four wheel drive. Um, I'm gonna be working on redoing a little bit in the front end, new shock tower mounts. I'm gonna move the shocks outwards more, readjust a few things, make new shock tower tabs. Um, back here on the rear of the truck. I'm contemplating on cutting off right about here, separating it and shrinking this to a little bit wider than the width of my lipo. Um, not sure yet, because I want to run my sway bar off the back of this to here. And if I shrink all this, but that means there's a few things in here that I also need to bring over, which means I also have to cut these off. Um, Cut these off. This is fine. Because this whole thing would have to come in. There's a lot. That's why I'm contemplating on it. And I have to redo the back bumper. There's... I'm still thinking about it. I'm not sure yet. I do want to put a sway bar on this thing. It does need it. It always helps. Um, I also want to get pro line shocks. I can't afford... I won't be able to afford for a little bit. Until I start moving on a few things. And get things sold but uh I do want to get the pro line power strokes for the front and rear for this thing because those are the, the dream shocks to have but I do have my limiting straps on I mean realistically I mean that's not bad but for some of the jumps I mean it's just these shocks are designed for this application they're not just designed for the weight I mean they're they're like the baby shocks in the, the TT world, but they do work. They work well. I had no issues with these with most of my other rigs. 
Um, also, picked up a nice pair. I finally, even though I have all my other Allens, got a set of uh, these is Dynamite Allen, so I have a 2mm and uh, yes, 1.5 as just for traveling and carry around my bag and stuff if I'm out with like the crawler, which we do need to talk about that because I got plans. But yeah, finally picked up a nice set of those. Um, it's kind of a mess over here. It's always been a mess. That's crawler stuff. Battery. Gotta get rid of. Actual housing. It's a spare low C one. Run the last one here. Um, but it's another thing that we need. I'm gonna discuss right, so through here. Awesome. We're flipped over. Um. So I contemplated a lot on if I should save up or spend the money for certain things here and there. But I ha I'm having issues I figured out lately with the mesh in my ring and pinion. And I actually started re uh, realizing that these are actually the screws that are holding this front member in are uh, coming out. They're actually pulling themselves out from the amount of torque that this thing has and causing the mesh to come off, causing everything to strip and blah blah blah. That's why the slow mo video I posted on my page um, last week. It was actually muted because part of it through you can actually hear the clicking. Um, it's not bad. It's just you can't accelerate fast. You have to ease into everything. and It is a pain and I'd like to fix it. So we're going to try a few things for a laugh or for a joke. I'm just going to throw in this one and see if that fixes it for now. But once I also save up too, I'll probably be switching over to a Metalcore Concepts rear end. I mean, Mike over there, he does some amazing work. Um, been wanting to get his parts on one of my rigs. Just haven't had the time. But I will be getting hopefully some lower A arms in from a buddy. Um, I'll be doing some trade work with. And hopefully get some new tires because these have seen better days. These are my original tires from 2018, I think. I've used them ever since. So they've lasted me quite a long time. Um, that's why I, when if I'm out in the asphalt, because this truck's, I don't like driving on asphalt. But if I do, I'll just throw on these little slashes. And it does make a difference. You can tell suspension wise, I mean, going over certain bumps. The difference is between running, I think this is what a 2.2 versus whatever these are. Um, there's a big difference. Um, another thing, let's see, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I finally, wow, it's pretty windy. Upgraded my, since my drive shafts actually aren't here yet. They should be here hopefully this week, I hope so. Um, I actually had, this came in, this is a little... This half of the universal um, metal piece then, which is really nice. So as you can tell, there's zero. I mean, that sucker is dead on. That's just the play in the, there. And then this one is sad, but it will work for now until I get my crack drive shafts. Um, so yeah, I mean it's. She's hanging yeah. in there. That's kind of like the update, how this thing's doing. I finally got back. I was gone for the last weekend, so I didn't get too much done in the shop. Um, but now I'm slowly getting back into it. Another question I got was, how does this front end work, the Uniball and all of that? And there, there's a lot of issues. Um, I don't know if I would release this on my rigs to be honest that's why on um, my chassis that I'll be selling um we'll be running the STRC bulkhead with the Traxxas 4x4 setup because it's reliable it works great it looks realistic um this is a cool setup yes don't get me wrong but like the slop and like just this uniball and the steering setup isn't the best um there's, there's just some, there's a ton of issues with this front end. And 
yeah, I love it. It works, but there's a lot of maintenance and a lot of issues that I've had to tweak out over the time. So that's kind of why um, I won't be releasing it with rigs. I may build a, like, let's say a couple more just for aesthetics. And if someone wants just like a realistic rig or just something to put on their shelves, you know, they can. But I will be making these lower A arms. Or I'm not sure for something I had in mind which I'll go over in a second but um, I will be probably making my own upper A arms just to save money on my personal rig but I will be running the stock lowers for now so yeah um, what else is there uh, see so one over yeah lights Shortening the back end. Oh, yeah, light bar. So I think I've decided that I'm actually gonna mount it in the back, kind of like how Darren Parsons is set up um, with his seven. Uh, I think he's a seven pod. It may be a five pod in the back, and it flips up. I just want it in the back for now, I guess. I have the ability. I have the rolled one up here, um, which is cool. I mean, I'll have the ability to either run it back here or back here, but. I think it'd just be cool for when the body's off, I can mount it here, and when the body's on, mount it there. Um, just kind of like a style thing. No one's kind of like mounted things in the back right there, so. Be kind of neat. Um, oh yeah, and plus, I gotta finish the rear ra uh, radiator setup. I wanna do the big cooler back here. Plus, I will be mounting, since I'll have a spare drive shaft, I'm making a spare drive shaft mount for here, and then I'll have my uh, oil cancer, so I have one here, and then a jack to go there, but I'll be switching all these um, parts, these are actually from the Traxxas UDR, um, to push rods, batteries, and oil canisters, and jacks, um, all their accessories, and their link will also be in the description below, you can go check them out, they do amazing work, um, pretty neat what they are kicking out. And I'm excited to uh, start running some other parts. But yeah, that's kind of like how this thing's doing. I'll uh, show you some of what a uh, mini decade looks like. And yeah, we'll see where we go from there. All right, so here is my next personal rig. This was actually originally going to be Pushrod 3D's cage, but. Um, I was having an issue with the shipment of steel rod I got in. It said that it was um, both sealed, but this stuff came plated, so it had like a galvanized death coating, which sucked. A lot of the stuff, a lot of the tack welds did not come out really nice, and I take integrity in my work, so I will not be giving this one to him. I'll be using this for my next personal rig, and I'm getting the correct shipment in from a buddy of mine. Uh, Kirk Welding, he's down the street. Uh, Will, he's an amazing guy. Uh, if you need any metals, you live in the Brentwood area or live by, you know, 94513. I mean, go hit him up. He's got everything. But anyways, this is my next personal rig. Um, I'll be fitting the Truxus 404 front end with the STRC from Bulkhead. This is what a lot of the TT guys are running. Um, kind of like most base start outs, you'll buy this and then you'll bolt on this. It's a great front end, works great. Um, essentially, it's gonna go roughly into there. And I gotta finish the front end. Rear end, this one will have vertical mounted spares. A new front bumper, this one will look really neat. I have some cool ideas for this rig. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Um, figured that I'd give another update. Just kind of update you guys on how everything's going. Um, I hope to at least do at least one video every week. So that's kind of like what I'm going to start doing and hopefully start building up to doing. Um, and I kind of hope you guys enjoy this. Don't I do apologize about some of the editing. I am learning as I go, but I hope I can progress and that we can uh, build up from this and I hope that y'all enjoyed the video and kind of enjoyed everything. You know, if you have any 
kind of topics or discussions that you'd like me to talk or show you or have any suggestions, you know, let me know in the comments below. I do check everything. And yeah, have a great day.